Hello, and welcome to Breaking Bread. Today, we're in front of St. Andrew the Apostle in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. And if you're a parishioner here at St. Andrew's, you've got a lot of choices in the neighborhood. That's true, especially if you live along 3rd, 4th, and 5th Avenues. There are so many international restaurants to choose from. In fact, when I was stationed here in Bay Ridge, I started something called the Taste of the Ridge, and it's an annual event here. Every year, people come out to taste the different foods of over 80 or 90 different restaurants. It's a great event. Wow, that's amazing. And this neighborhood is really diverse, right? Yes, it is. There has always been a large number of Irish and Italian immigrants here in this parish. And over the years, a large number of Middle Eastern and Russian immigrants have moved into the neighborhood. And that's what makes this neighborhood so unique. The families that live here kind of stay here, right? That's true. Many of the people that own businesses and work in this neighborhood choose to live here and raise their families here. Wow, so let's go check out some of the great restaurants in this neighborhood that are as deeply rooted in Bay Ridge as the families. Sounds good. for the seafood. So we stopped by to see what all the excitement is about. It's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. I'm here with the owner of the Pearl Room, Anthony. So Anthony, thank you for having us. Oh, it's a pleasure to be, to be here, please. Thank you, thank you. So, first question is, it seems like everybody in the neighborhood knows about the Pearl Room. When did you realize just how popular your restaurant had become? It's not a one-day thing where you could say it just changed over. It's, uh, it's an everyday uh, battle to try and get the best seafood here, to try and serve the freshest food that you can, to cater into customers, you know, make them feel a little at home. And you start to turn around and you know this one and you know that, and after a year, I know everybody in the dining room, and then the next thing you know, it's, wow, this is a nice restaurant. And then you get an award for this, an award for that, and it all starts to turn around. And I have customers that come from all over, and it's well worth it. I mean, have people, oh, I heard about this, and we had to come here while we were in, in Brooklyn, and uh, it, it really makes it worth the effort. Okay, so how long have you been here? I've been here three and a half years. The restaurant has been open for five years, but it has grown a little bit. I mean, now we added on this garden room. We have another private room that, for all kinds of sorts of parties that we do, and on Friday and Saturday night, of course, as well. What makes your seafood so special? So special. Um, that seafood is very delicate, and that's an everyday uh, battle, just making sure you get the best product that's out there. Now tell us one more time what we're going to the kitchen to prepare. One of them that we'll make today is a pancia tilapia. It's over a shrimp mascarpone risotto with grilled asparagus with a roasted beef ginger. We're gonna start off with a little avocado crab napoleon. It's a fresh uh, avocado, fresh crab meat. Uh, it's very simple, light, but I like it because it has a nice look to it. And at the same time, it's just talking about the, the freshest of product that you could use. And it has a lemon blanc on the base of the plate and has a little balsamic and basil oil drizzled around the side. It makes a very nice uh, presentation. We've actually won two uh, awards for that dish alone. Okay, well, I'm officially hungry, so let's get started. <laughs> in the trenches with Chef Anthony, and we're gonna make the appetizer. Tell us what it's called again. This is an avocado crab Napoleon. This is actually Balinese, my salad guy here. And uh, we're gonna start, this is our lemon blanc, and it's really just a reduction of lemon juice and white wine, some shallots. We're gonna put a little on the base of the plate. All right, I'm gonna give it a little spin, and we're gonna show some people at home how you can make a nice, pretty dish out of nothing. Okay. And this is, you can make a bunch of different designs. This is a little balsamic reduction that we make. Any design that you would like, this is our sun-dried tomato that's pressed. We're gonna give this one spin around. All right. A little bit, and it's nice and simple. And this is basil oil. We make fresh basil oil here. Beautiful. All right, if you're at home, you could use a toothpick by all means, and you just drag it around the plate. Oh. It's very simple, actually. So that's how this is done. I always wonder. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so now we have the design on the plate. We're gonna take a little ramekin just to create the mold. Okay. of the plate, of course. We'll get, we have our fresh pear meat, we're gonna take a fresh avocado. You wanna get a nice ripe avocado, looks pretty inside, should look something like that. We're gonna take a little knife inside, I'm just gonna 
score, it score it out. Score it out. Take a regular spoon, household spoon. You right. grab it right around. So you got some nice even chunks of it. Right. And now what we have here are six different spices. And to tone down the spices, what we do is toast them off. So it keeps it nice and blended without one spice kicking out on you. Some paprika, celery, salt. We have a little cayenne. We're just going to sprinkle a little bit around. Uh, we're just going to take a pinch of salt. All right, and a little white pepper. I'm gonna give it a little mix around. And uh, one thing I do use in this is a touch of champagne vinegar. Nice. All right? What's champagne vinegar? I've never heard of that. <laughs> you can make it from champagne, okay. or you can get it in the store, and I'm sure in some uh, whole food places that specialize in specialty items. Okay, okay, okay. All right, and uh, you're just putting this into the ramekin. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll put that off to the side for now. And then you're going to press down a little bit with the spoon on the action. All right. Give it that nice molded look. Yes. And you take the... And you pull right. that off. All right. And that's going to be another little trick that you could do is uh, go underneath a knife. All right. And on the top, we can make something look a little like that. Wow. A little basil for garnish. Okay. All right. Put that in the hole there. This is our avocado crab. Beautiful, okay? beautiful. Like I said, nice and easy, fresh, and that's what you want the customer to get across. Perfect, there you have it. All right, and now for our main dish, what do we got going on over here, Chef Anthony? Oh, we're in the heart of the kitchen now. Now we're moving down to the saute station. Right. And this is where a lot of fish gets done over here. And this is the pan seared tilapia. It's over the shrimp mascarpone risotto with grilled asparagus tips for the roasted beet ginger emulsion. And we're gonna start from, from scratch how we make this. I'm gonna start with a little flour. Okay, blend with a little plant, and you want to get this to get a nice sear on it. And uh, we're gonna use white uh, white pepper again. Now, what's really important is get a pan really hot, and that's how you want to sear this fish. All right. So we have that going on, and when you start to see it move, you're gonna hear a little sizzle. And the reason why I cook like this is because everybody's nervous about using extra virgin olive oil. They want that used. It should be the opposite way. But when you're cooking, you've got to use a blended oil. By blending the oil, it gives it a higher smoking point. So you can get the heat real high, and what happens is it does not let any oil penetrate the fish. And at the same time, keeps all the juice from the fish inside the fish. It sears it off. If you're going to have any oil drizzled over your fish, what you're going to do is you're going to drizzle it at the end and use extra virgin olive oil. Gotcha. All right? So there's a little misconception there. Okay. So searing the fish. Yes, we have some nice color on the fish. That was quick on a hot pan. We're gonna just move this in, into the oven and let it finish off for a second. And while that's in the oven, we're gonna have a little risotto to start with, okay? Now, risotto takes a little time, and we do parboil it, and this is uh, our risotto here, okay? And to touch it up a little bit, we use a little mascarpone cheese in there. Now, mascarpone, and when you stir in risotto too, you want to just give it a nice little start, and you can see it has a nice creamy essence of it. Of it. We're yeah, going to start to taste it. There. What is that? What should I see? This is a shrimp, U15 shrimp, and you want to use a nice size shrimp because it has a little bit more flavor on it. Okay. All right? Bernardo has a little asparagus on the grill. That's going to go on the base of the plate. All right? And it's also marinated. We use a, a little uh, balsamic and uh, soy and uh, fresh ginger in there, a little crushed red pepper. Now, everything else is so beautiful. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plate is all put yes. together. So I'm going to put the asparagus on the base of the plate. You got more designs going on here on this mm -hmm. one. Beautiful. All right. And then we're just going to make a nice little piece here, like so. Okay. Uh, and our fish should oh, just be about please. done. Very nice. Always a nice size portion at the Pearl Room. You don't want anybody to say that they're left hungry. We're going to drizzle around a little roasted beet. And this is just fresh beets with extra virgin olive oil and fresh ginger. So that's where the extra virgin olive oil comes in now. We're going to finish it off with a little cross mark. Okay? And uh, a little something simple like that. And there's our dish. And that's our pan seared tilapia. And seared tilapia. Again, this presentation is just beautiful. I have to keep commenting on it. I love the little designs on the plate, and it smells so good. So 
Now here comes my favorite part of all of this. We get to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Anthony, thank you so much for preparing this beautiful meal for us and giving us a little tips in the meantime. Well, we do try. You know, um, I'm hoping that you really enjoy it. Um, if there's anything I could ever do, please let us know. And this is our avocado crab and our tilapia. And everything is so beautiful. And not only is the food beautiful, but the restaurant is just as impressive as what you see in front of you. It's easy to see why this place has become so popular and is definitely a local favorite.